Oh, we, oh, but the audio is not live on the stream yet. We are on. We the are. Hey. Hi. <laughs> okay, for everyone on the live stream, we're still waiting for the uh, the Christmas parade to roll down our particular area right here in front of uh, uh, the uh, El Dorado Bureau. Uh, but uh, for those that aren't familiar with the familiar face to my right, uh, Miss Cindy guys. Langston is back from retirement. That's right. Um, as old as I. The South yeah. Arkansas royalty that she is. That's um, right. We were hoping to have former um, NBC 10 anchor and former El Dorado mayor and former... County judge. Uh, I mean, he's been everything. You name it, he's Mike done everything. Been everything. But Mike uh, Mike couldn't make it tonight. We wish him the best. We, hope, right. we hope to see him next year. Yep. Wish, wish you were Mike. here, Mike. And uh, they, they could have... You could have talked even more and I wouldn't have had to do anything. No, that's okay. So. Did you hear the car alarm? I mean, it wouldn't be a parade without a car alarm. Hey, so. all right. That's the official to, start, I think. That's the official start of the parade. No. By the way, I don't know if your family does Elf on the Shelf. My family does Elf on the Shelf. And today our Elf jingle was having a Christmas parade. How'd, how'd that go? I mean, he they had the cop. Then jingle was the apparently the parade grand, grand marshal. marshal. Wow. Lots of uh, NASCAR, little Hot Wheels, you know, all the all the things. And then Santa was actually on an airplane. Very oh, that's cool. cool. Very cool. Yeah. And then um, we have a reindeer, and he was behind Santa. Just like in this parade, the horses come last. This is impressive. <laughs> yeah, we, we actually, in our family, Elf on the Shelf became a, uh, you know, the elves became more prominent after we got past the yes. Elf on the Shelf age. So. Bless your heart. Yeah. I, I, you. I've heard a lot of parents Good now getting into, like, year <laughs> three and four, and the, the, they're like, this is... It's getting kind of old. It's Cindy, a lot. For, for folks that are wondering, what the heck have you been up to? Well, you know, the, the family's growing. That's right. and, and we just uh, met, what, uh, two, two of, of the them. three. Two of the three. That's know. right. The third is 17 and a senior, so he's out and about. And gotcha. Doesn't hang out he's with doing, mom much. Oh, he's yeah. doing that yeah. kind of I thing. I did make him come pick the boys up so they wouldn't try to be, you know, those kids that are going to jump up and down in the back of the I was of hoping they would be those boys. They would totally be those boys. Um, but anyway. but they're, they're, they're growing. They're, yep. they're just, it's yep. awesome to see them now. Super glad. Um, you know, I left KTV when Landon, my oldest, was about a year old. He mm -hmm. is a senior in high school now, so wow. number one in his class. I'm not at all Good proud of that. Good for him. So, yep, he's super smart, and uh, we're really excited to see him. He's going to go to the University of Arkansas. Oh, very which awesome. Which is a great choice. Listen, we, it was between there and Alabama. My dad Ooh. went to the University of Alabama. And so there's kind of a bitter rivalry anyway. Can't imagine us. why. Uh -uh. And, um, and so I'm so excited he made that choice. So we're really excited to see him. Do you know what he wants to study yet? So maybe engineering. Um, he wants to go to law school. So it's kind of like, what do I do for my undergrad? Engineering or business? Engineering's got Over a five-year plan. Yeah, he's a smart kid. No, nah, it's, it's yeah. good stuff. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah. It is. So he'll he'll do well. And then my middle one, Spencer, is in eighth grade here at Barton. Uh, that's uh, kind of right behind us. Mm -hmm. And then I have a fourth grader. His name is Harrison. And they keep me... Basically. I tell you what, Harrison was a—he was a blast. Like he's—he's—he's he's, he's just he knows like, sports and he oh man, sports. we were talking that's about. Right. I—I right. I told him about every person that's ever hit a home run yeah. off of me. That's right. that, those are good stories. Those are impressive. I mean, you know, but when like you, you have a portfolio of shame, when it comes exactly. To sports. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing now, and I'm not sitting, you know, playing that's Major right. League Baseball that's or something right. like that's that. That's right. That's right. But uh, you are a good golfer, I hear. It depends on who you ask. Well, if I ask you, what do you say? I enjoy the game. Good I answer. enjoy. I enjoy the. Good the, answer. The, yeah. <laughs> Cody's <laughs> One back of our there. Camera crews up. Yeah. He's Cody okay. goes. He's okay. Yeah. He's seen the swing. He's Cody is. Uh, is he better than you? Oh, okay. By far. Okay. 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 Well, okay. Yeah, he, now Cody's a good disc golfer, and uh, so disc that's and that's fun. one I've wanted to get into. But uh, okay. Let me ask you this: Do you play spike ball? I have seen it. I think my reaction time's too slow. Oh. I would end up with a broken ankle. You would or be surprised. Now, I mean, like you're watching like. Like professional spike ball. I mean, if you right. get, you know, me and the kids play, Landon found it at camp, and uh, it's super fun. Okay, it's I really, really fun. And it, and, it, and it can get wild. I mean, I, I think when Landon plays sure. with his friends, it's a little more aggressive. But, what about pickleball? You know, I want to learn to play pickleball. I've tried to get somebody to explain it to me, and nobody can explain it's, it. They're like, it's kind of like tennis. It's like, it's like ping pong, except you're standing on the ping pong table, if that makes any sense. Okay, like the nets of. on the ground. It's pretty, like, it can get intense. It's I mean, is that like not like tennis? I'm just. Essentially, I'm, but it's a smaller court. You don't even have to run. Okay, no, I'm, I'm down for yeah, that. Exactly. Clearly, you can see I don't yeah. run a lot, and so that's. I only run if a bear's chasing me. I mean, me. and I only got to be faster than you. Yeah, so exactly. I, if, if a bear, <laughs> uh, my wife is uh, running in the uh, St. Jude uh, Half Marathon in Memphis oh this weekend. Oh, my goodness, weekend. that's amazing. And uh, she said, she, I'm not going for a record time or anything. She goes, can you, will you run with me? Nope. No. I will. <laughs> Go I will cheer with you. I will hold the signs with you. and go. Will, yeah, all that. I'll, all that. 
Well, we're getting ready for the close uh, to the to the start of the parade uh, coming down uh, here. If, if you don't know where we are, where we're on, you know, the the, the main drive we're, we're on West Avenue yep. or, or Northwest Avenue, and and we're right down from the main drag, like I said, in El Dorado, we're going to see everything come right through here. In fact, you, know, you can see the start of the parade, which is still a uh, quarter mile yeah. eh, ish. A uh, couple blocks away, yep. and so uh, we'll take a brief pause here in just a second to kind of get it set for um, uh, the actual on-air part of the broadcast in terms of uh, the streaming and and also uh, the rebroadcasting and things like that. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll be live on myarklimus.com yep. and and all that good stuff. It, it's it's so much fun to be here as part of the the start of the holiday season. I just wish the weather would have been a little bit more. I mean, Christmassy. Listen, <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all, and I know it doesn't bother you because mm -hmm. you're cold natured. I had the big jacket on for a little bit. It, this is the nicest weather. I don't want mm -hmm. it to be hot for the Christmas parade, obviously. No, but no. I have been outside. I used to do this parade every year when I worked at the television station, right. and for years after, we were set up in front of the mall, and it was bitterly cold. It seemed like every mm -hmm. single year, and then last year. Of course, because of COVID protocols, we weren't able to have a parade um, like this one. But we may do. Right. We kind of punted. Um, Sherry Cross, I have to brag on uh, KTV's sales lady yeah. here at El Dorado, Sherry Cross. She's, she's amazing. She is. She's, she's something. She's the best. Yep. Yeah, and she gets after it. She sort of arranged this to, to um, a drive through Christmas parade. And it really was so neat. And it was so funny because... Uh, she asked me to MC that, and it was so fun to go and kind of uh, talk to the different cars sure. and walk along. And it was cold for that, too. Um, but we ended up having to shut it down with lines of cars still left because so many people wanted a Christmas right. parade. And that's evident, as you see here today, because it's cars lined up the entire avenue. Absolutely. Uh, there's not really a, a, um, an empty spot. No. If you haven't found your spot, you've kind of missed out, at least on this particular stretch uh, of uh, Northwest Avenue. And also, on that note, um, a lot of these cars got out here early. Early. When I picked the kids up from school at 325 and drove down the avenue, there was not an empty spot. Now, yep. those cars didn't have people in them yet, but people came and parked early from RVs to trucks backed in on tailgates, vans, cars, blankets, you name it, uh, lawn chairs. People yeah. are out, and they are ready and excited to celebrate Christmas. Uh, as we get ready um, for everything, just a, a few special thanks, and we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit more a little bit later on, but a special thanks to Rushing Law Firm, Manpower, Maggie and Lucy's, and the Big yes. T's. Uh, they helped us uh, just kind of, we just took over their parking lot today. Yes. And, um, it's not a great big parking lot anyway. Right. And I think we took every bit of it today. Yeah, so. absolutely. So we, we've been kind of setting up, and they've been very patient and very gracious with us. Uh, Neely Wholesale hooked us up with uh, coffee service all day. Yep. And then we also had the Old Town Store. They, they had the soup bar. Yep. I, took, I took the chicken noodle. Uh, route, <laughs> uh, wonderful cornbread, the cookies, the pecan sandies. I highly recommend. <laughs> Absolutely, um, the old town store yeah, is great. They, yeah. they did a wonderful job. So uh, it's always a nice group community effort here in El Dorado, yeah. and it's not just El Dorado. It's all of Union County, all of South Arkansas, really just getting together. Yeah, to we'd like to say season. it's Arkansas's largest Christmas mm -hmm. parade. I think we have over 80 entries this year. Again, evidence that people want to get out and get something. Um, out of this Christmas season. They want to see each other. They want to visit and congregate. And we're trying to do that as safely as possible, and we're excited. It's also exciting times, too. You know, El Dorado High School's football team uh, is, has yes. been very successful. Strong Huddick had a wonderful yep. year. Warren's had a great year. Crossett's had a great year. So it's been a great year for high school football. So we're getting ready for, you know, championship weekend. El Dorado, uh, they, the entire you know, city will basically be up uh, in Little Rock. Absolutely. You know. The game is at noon on Saturday at War Memorial. Mm -hmm. uh, the boys actually went up yesterday to practice, which I thought was really neat. Yep. So they uh, drove up again and, and had practice on that big field. I, I told uh, the coach's wife, goes they go to church with us, and I saw her last night at church. And I said, y'all need to watch the movie Hoosiers. Of course, she's 12, and so she didn't know what I was talking <laughs> about. But uh, if you haven't ever seen that movie, it's, uh, you know, they, they go to the big leagues at, the, at right. the, the big game at the end of the state championship, and it's a, a huge arena. And he takes out um, um, a measuring stick or like a tape measure mm -hmm. and measures the goal. And again, it's the same distance right. um, as the goal back home yep. in Hickville, USA. And so I thought that was so neat that they had the opportunity to go up and kind of see this big stadium that the field is still 100 yards. Yeah, it's still 100 yards. And so I'm really excited for those boys. Again, my son is a senior, so we've been with those kids. He's actually played football with those kids. He Excellent. doesn't now. And, and it's neat to see those kids who I saw in seventh grade and knew they were going to be stars. Mm -hmm. They're still stars. Yep. So I'm so excited to go and 
and see the game on Saturday at noon at War Memorial, and hopefully a lot of you will join us. Like I said, War, War Memorial, uh, it's a fun vin uh, venue to it watch is. a football game in. I have mem many memories of Arkansas Raised LSU against, games yep. day, after, uh, day after Thanksgiving and yep. wandering in there. I still there. wish that they did that there. I really do, too. I think they should bring it back. I uh, the, the Missouri I thing is just kind of a, Ugh, uh, you know. That is not a rivalry. Uh, no, it, it, not it, yet. Listen, it, I think it, that Texas A&M is a rivalry. I they agree. They want a rivalry game. I Come agree. On. But now that Texas is coming to the SEC, that the, you yeah. know, Texas has got their – But Texas and Oklahoma are always going to be a rivalry. That's Texas also Texas A&M – is I think that could be considered. I like it. I, I, I and I, I like the fact that they play Dallas old. every year. That's kind of cool. I love it. I love uh, it. But love like it. I said, my my um, uncle who just recently passed uh, had a lot of great memories of. He always had season tickets to the Little Rock games. So, yes, and I so love you always Rock waited games. for the phone call of like, hey, I don't have anybody for my ticket. Can you come Score, in? Score. Let's and go. We would just sit around the phone, just yes, waiting for him absolutely. to call. Absolutely. You know, so <laughs> call up to the big leagues. Those are great. <laughs> absolutely. <'Cause, laughs> and, and you would you'd wonder at his tailgate party, and you go. Yes. Oh, this is this is this is life. Right that here, atmosphere so. at War Memorial. Is oh, absolutely. Else, so yeah, anyway. it, and it is a different. It's different than Fayetteville. It's, it's not just better. Different. It's just yep. different. Yep. And, uh, yep. and I like loved said. it. Yep. Um, but other well, the than atmosphere that, here is pretty good tonight, too. You can see people out of their cars. They are ready to rock and like roll. A, it's like a tailgate part. atmosphere. Yep, it is. And that parade's not too far away. A quarter of a mile when you're walking. <laughs> a little longer than if you're driving. And the our heck of a lot. And marshals are, I think, walking. It's a heck of a lot longer when you're running. Yep. But. That's why, like I said, we've already we've already established that. No yeah, running we're not, tonight. We're not doing that. It uh, seems like they've stopped down there. Yeah, they're probably just, you know. Waving to the crowd, yeah, enjoying the day. Just enjoying the, like I said, it's not that, that bad out here. It's not cold or anything like that. I've had my share of, uh, you know, we flipped the, the switch uh, to start the holiday season uh, two Thursdays ago, yep. and it was freezing. It, it was, was so it was cold. So we came cold. to that, too. Always the Thursday before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And I love that so that people can drive around El Dorado on Thanksgiving Absolutely. break or if they're love coming it. to visit family and can enjoy all the lights. And I swear we, we get more and more lights every year. Yep. I tell people all the time when they're asking about El Dorado that it is the quintessential Hallmark Christmas movie town. I agree. And when Especially it's like, in the town square. Yes, you go around the courthouse right. and everything. And if you... Um, it's really like that year-round, but at Christmas, it's just special. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, those lights, and, and again, you know, my kids and I drive around, and, and, it's, and it extends out because here's what happens. That spirit just grows and multiplies, mm -hmm. and so people now decorate their yards and decorate their homes, and so, you know, we stop at PJ's and grab a coffee, and the kids get ice cream next door, and then we... We hit the circuit yep. you know, and, and drive around. And I would so. wind up with fudge. If I'm in, in El Dorado, I'm going to probably wind up with fudge. fudge. Um, if it's early enough in the morning, it's going to be spud nuts. Absolutely. But uh, I'm, I'm never here in the morning. You know? yeah. It's a crying yeah, shame. And it's not the same heated up in the microwave. You know, my grandparents a long time ago used to go to spud nuts. They'd order as many, like dozen as they could that they were available, and they'd take them home and freeze them and then reheat them in the oven. Did it work? I mean, when you're when you want spud when you're nuts, you, will, spud you yeah. will make it work. Yeah, yeah. But, um, My family and I were in Branson over the weekend, and we had Krispy Kreme because. Yeah. And uh, and one of the kids said, "Still doesn't beat a spud nut." Nah, like, that's that right, baby. That, that is correct. You, you know so. you're raising them right. That's when that right. Happens. That's right. And I'm from Bradley County. You have to like tomatoes, and in El Dorado, you gotta like spud nuts. Absolutely, so, I yeah. agree. I agree. Oh yeah, yeah. I forget you're from Bradley County. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. South Arkansas. So, yeah, yeah, like I say, it, it, it's 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 always a pleasure. I have a lot of family in El Dorado, yeah. and and and. Uh, we always visited. We always knew when we went over the big, the big uh, bridge near yep. Callian that you were almost, uh, almost, uh, there. Uh, almost there to El Dorado yeah. every year. And, uh, and growing up in Little Rock, it was always just special to come down it's and visit. It's so funny because, you know, Jared and I never worked together. He, <laughs> he again, is a thousand years younger than me, for one. And also, <laughs> he came after I left. And so, but we've always really just had a kinship. Yeah. And, and I think it's because we're both Razorback fans mm -hmm. and both from Arkansas and have those roots. But it's really nice. And I always enjoy working with you. I'm glad. It's, it, it, it's, it's going to be a blast. And like I said, I would really look, I was really hoping Mike could make it because we, hey, we would just be too. cutting up and, and, and having too much fun, yep. to be honest with yep. you. And, and it's fun to see, you know, Billy Brown's here. It, Billy was here when, when yes. you worked. Uh, yes. and, and Phil Duckworth, who is still back <laughs> at the station. <laughs> and still hey, Phil, Phil Duckworth. Uh, you know, <laughs> nothing changes with Phil. His beard's a little bit longer. I was about to say, no, his beard has changed. A little that's bit longer, a right. little that's bit grayer, right. but uh, other than that. Linda and Alan, you know. everybody that's watching. So, absolutely. Yeah, so, absolutely. yeah, just trying to catch you up. On, you you want to come back and, uh, you know, just fill in? I'm you know? good. I don't okay. know. I'm, you know, I've, I, I, lots, of, lots of life going on right now. So. Yeah, you've got a lot of stuff it's going crazy, on. we got a senior in high school. Yep. I can't yep. uh, I can't fathom that. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're, we're in middle school age, so. So what, what's Caden into? He likes golf, right? Yeah, he's into golf. Yep. Um, obviously, video games. Uh, what's he want for Christmas? 
anything and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, he's in the gift card stage now. Oh, uh, I don't like but that I tell stage. You, but I tell you what we, uh, we do a lot of. We, um, like, Marvel Legends action figures and we stuff like that. My two younger ones love Marvel Legends. And I, and I don't want to go into specifics about what he's getting for Christmas, uh -huh. just in case uh, he's, for some it. reason, watching sure. this. And uh, if you are, make sure you get to bed on time. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, yeah, that's kind of where we are right yeah. now. There's a lot of d uh, high-end action figures, collectibles, things like yes, that. Yes, and don't let, you know. And Legos. Don't let, yes, we're still very into Legos. Uh, I don't think you ever get out of Legos. Well, here's the thing. Spencer, my middle one, he builds them, and they stay built, and they're beautiful That's displayed. okay, guys. Now, yeah. my older one, he destroyed everything he ever had. So we have, like, mountains of Legos. But he doesn't want to get rid of them. And they're his, you know, but you could only have so many gray and black because it's Star Wars. Correct. So yep, there's only so many, like, gray, black, brown, white, maybe. Legos. All it takes, is, all it all takes all. is stepping on one, Ugh. and it's game over, man. Yeah. It is game. But we we do a lot of Legos, but we are at that age now where you got to fit in both worlds. And too. he's also wanting to step graduate up to like the advanced Legos. Oh, yeah, Spencer's there. Like the yeah. the $600 yep. sets. Yep. And I'm like, we're going to have to wait till those go on clearance, Listen, man. Cause. Absolutely. And now Spencer's kind of, you know, he's 13 and so he's really out of it kind of now too, but he will help his brother. Yeah. So like Harrison wants Legos for Christmas and Spencer will help him build those Legos. I got gotcha. so, you. Know, we got I mean, but it's, it's, it's a team hard. effort. That's just a hard age because they really, they, they want to be grown, but they still want to be little kids. Absolutely. So that's, that's wait till tough. you get to be fully grown and then you just want to be, be a little, little kid. kid, you know? Yeah. I don't absolutely. want to be grown at all, especially when the electric bill comes in the mail. It's absolutely. Uh, uh. Adulting is tough stuff. It yeah. is, but you know, it, it's, we get to, it, we, we've watched you know, so much change and careers have flourished. And, you, you know, like I said, I, I, it's fun to come back and visit with you. Yeah. And, 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 um, and like I said, it's a blast from the past. Although, you know, you sit there and say, oh, you're older, blah, yeah. whatever. But it's, it's just so much fun. And, and to, I, I, I reach out to you randomly at times. And yeah. I, it's always like, you won't believe what's happening uh -huh. now. Uh -huh. You know, just kind of catching you up on the business. You know, the all industry. these guys that, I mean, like, there's just a camaraderie between people that, that work in television. And I'm sure it's that way if people work in the oil and gas industry sure. or whatever it's industry. A family, that in. That's you right. Know? The law enforcement industry. You can just come together and commiserate at times. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, we, uh, <laughs> Billy was showing me a while ago um, the new way you go live. Yes. You know, and the pack, guys, is about that big. Right. Um, yeah. It's impressive. It's and fun. And it weighs less than, like, a battery weighed Correct. for a camera when I was there. Yes. So change is good. <laughs> Technology has, I mean, and, and really even in my 15 years watching this go from, well, we were still using tape. Right. And now nothing is on tape. And for those at home, you're, you're like I said, you're getting kind of a sneak peek on the television yeah. business. Now. But, you know, you used to have tapes, you know, cassette, uh, you know, videotapes that you video throw tapes. in. And uh, we don't do that it's anymore. Like it's all digital. It's yep. all on computers and yep. things like that. But uh, we were, like I said, going as simple as live shots. You used to have a have to have a big live truck. And it would have to go. The mast has the to go up. That's the big right. mast up. That's right. You have it to send the signal like back to a tower, and that it's tower crazy. has to bing it back here. Now with cell phone signals it's and internet instant. signals. Yeah, you and can do simple. So much stuff. And it, yeah, it's so great. And the world can be a reporter, which is mm -hmm. hard for job security. Yes, <laughs> and, and, and it's good and bad news at the same yep. time because, to be honest with you, there's a lot of things on TV now that you're just like, why, why? Did, why did there have to be a camera there? Right, why, why but there's always a camera there. So. Uh, yeah, which is also. You know, we used to have a saying whenever uh, you would walk on set, like or on stage, you just need to think that the mic is hot. Watch Every your time. words. I always tell my boys, watch your words. Uh, because you never know who's listening, and now the world is really like that because mm -hmm. somebody's always listening. Social somebody's media. always got a phone on. Somebody's always taking a picture with you in the background. It's always so. the don't press send. Like <laughs> anytime somebody, I get mad on Twitter. Yeah, you know, I get mad at the Cubs. Yeah, you know, I'm a big baseball fan, and I'll be like, oh, and I'll start Twitter. I'm like, you know, erase, erase, erase. I'm delete, not delete, gonna delete, 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 delete. But I feel better writing it. Yeah. I know. Sometimes you just need to write it yeah. and then erase You're it. Like, man, that looks good. All right, and delete it all. <sighs> yeah. So that, yeah, it happens. Like I said, uh, actually, I think the parade's getting mucho, mucho closer mucho to close. us now. I think uh, probably about uh, half a block down, and I can see everybody walking this yep. way. See so. the JROTC, I think, is first with the yes. flag bearers. Yes. Hey, listen, I think we need to thank some other people, too. Rushing Law Firm. Absolutely. Manpower, Maggie Lucy's the big tease. You said that because we, of course, taken over this parking lot. Right. But we have sponsors um, for this parade, and I know Slinging Arrows is one of them. Absolutely. Neely Wholesale. Right. Seems like there might be one more. I'll have to dig through here and find yep, it. Yeah, we'll find it here in just a second. Absolutely. But we're really looking forward to all these entries tonight. You have a lot of floats coming up. You've got, of course, your beauty queens that we'll Absolutely. have to see. We've got some cars. We've got some cows. 
no joke, a cow, mm -hmm. one cow. But I'm really excited about Skittles, the cow. Um, as I was looking over this tonight. It's a great lineup. I cannot wait. Ooh, and lots of cool cars, including the new Bronco, which I love the new Bronco. It, is, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. Uh, can't and, afford it, but uh, I can't afford you anything. You can't find one. That's also the hard part. <laughs> but. but it's going to be a lot of neat things. And, of course, um, we're excited to see all the big floats, little floats, pretty little girls Santa. and everything. Yep. And the bands. I love the bands. Absolutely. No walking groups, just bands. So I'm excited about that because they always, all of our bands locally play really good stuff. All right, welcome out uh, live in downtown El Dorado. We are on uh, the main drag here and looking down Northwest Avenue as uh, we get ready for the 2021 uh, El Dorado Christmas Parade. I'm Jared Floyd alongside Cindy Langston, Hello. who's uh, bringing us uh, a little blast from the past, That's if right. you will. A always local cheer. Yeah, always glad to have you here. Absolutely. We, uh, We've got lots of here. Hoping to have uh, former Mayor Mike Dumas, uh, former little bit of everything Mike Dumas. And Mike couldn't make it tonight, but uh, we wish him well. Hope he's um, enjoying uh his uh, holiday season. Absolutely, as well. and hopefully he's tuning in. So, hi, Mayor Mike. Yep. Good to see you, man. And, uh, and for those that are just joining us, we've got a full lineup. We've been uh, live streaming for a little bit, yep. uh, just uh, kind of talking uh, to the folks that joined the stream earlier. But uh, we got a full lineup tonight. We are excited. More than 80 floats, cars, beauty queens, and bands that we're going to see tonight. It is uh, known around town as Arkansas's largest Christmas parade. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but we'll take it. Yep. And we're going to enjoy it tonight. Hey, somebody somebody's got to prove that their parade's bigger. That's right. There are cars lined up from end to end of Northwest Avenue ready for this event tonight. Yeah, it's been a great turnout and we were talking about it earlier how how so many cars had made their way uh, to out onto onto the main drag here just to Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas I can't, from the Elf Squad. Yeah, I can't yell at you because i got a microphone <laughs> right in front of my face. But that uh, looks like it is the Drama Club yep. from the uh, South Arkansas uh, Academy for – I saw – Something. Uh, well, it was the, the Drama Club. Yeah, it's the Drama Club. That's Leading the police. Was, and We're El Dorado excited. High School is coming up next. So, uh, yeah, uh, the we, Army Junior ROTC. There you go. Carrying the Arkansas American flag, always leading our parade. Gosh, they look good in their uniforms, dressed up, marching in time. Merry Christmas, guys. Under the direction of Neville Matthews, uh, again, the uh, JROTC, wonderful looking group. High school and junior high, I think they're together. So the older mentoring the young. And thanks again to Union County Sheriff's Office Search and Rescue and all mm -hmm. of the law enforcement guys that are kind of keeping our parade running smooth tonight. We're really thankful for them. Our Grand Marshals uh, will be up shortly, but the Boys and Girls Club banner uh, carriers are Major Green, Demia Chassels, uh, Grace Bailey, and Kaki Vasquez. Uh, and you can see the Merry Christmas from the El Dorado and Union County Chamber of Commerce. Hey, that's a tough job. they got to walk the whole route. So we are excited to see them. They're doing a great job. And up next, it looks like before the Grand Marshals, we may have a band. Yeah, it looks like uh, the El Dorado High School Band. Um, sometimes things get a little out of order, so that's we're right. just going to kind of uh, duck and dodge and, and, and jive with it. But the band looks great out here getting ready for the holiday season Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Rob Clope is the director of the El Dorado High School Band, and he is driving the big van. And then, man, the drummers, the percussion session uh, section has the uh, – has the, they got the best the seat right in the house. idea, man. They're riding on the back of the trailer. That works. And hey, this is the junior high band, Barton Junior go. High School, under the direction of Tim Mullinax. And they are looking good and marching well. Kids, do percussion. You get to sit down and Absolutely. ride the entire time. That was cool, wasn't it? I mean, now, when, I, when I was a kid, percussion had to walk. So these guys uh, have got to get maybe, it. Maybe, maybe they, like, one paper, rock, scissors man, for that. something. something. I don't know. Oh, looking what coming coming up next, we have the South Arkansas Stars men's baseball team. These guys are coached by Cannon Lester. Cannon wow. used to be the Elder and a high school coach until this last year, and then he uh, – resigned to take this position. So you'll see a lot of familiar faces. These guys are not only from South Arkansas that have moved on to play college baseball. Hey, hang on. Hey, give me three drops and a brick flare. <laughs> Good job. Baseball, you never out. I told him to give me two claps and a Ric Flair. They Let's gave me go. two, fla two claps and a Ric Flair. Awesome. This hey, is, guys. This is our uh, men's basketball team, the South Arkansas Stars. Uh, obviously, athletic program up and running. 
uh, in South Arkansas at, the, at South Arkansas Community College. Wonderful team. Uh, we have the, the women's basketball team yep. uh, coming up next and then the women's softball team as well. Listen, this is so exciting for South Arkansas, especially Absolutely. El Dorado. South Arkansas Community College just started these programs a couple of years ago. We want you to come out and support them. The Stars, again, baseball, basketball programs, both men and women. What an opportunity for these young people to go on and further their college career and get to play a little ball as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, and it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity. I got to play a grand total of six weeks of college baseball. <laughs> but you and, loved every, every and, and I did. Yeah. I did love it. And yeah. it, it's always fun to, to stretch out your, your, your career and continue to Absolutely. further those athletic careers. Up next is the El Dorado High School Marching Band, the Wildcat Marching Band under the direction of Robert Cloak. Wonderfully, uh, a wonderful, good-looking group. I love They're the lights on the on the brass. That That's looks impressive. Great. And their drummers are, are walking. walking. That's the high school. All right, for you. so high school, you gotta <laughs> walk. Junior high, you can uh, you can you can ride. Yeah, that's right. That's figure. right. You gotta work up that. to that. You gotta work up to that. Right. I know those kids are excited about going to Little Rock and performing on oh, Saturday at the championship game again at War Memorial in Little Rock. Uh, noon on Saturday. Where go, El Dorado. go Wildcats, bring another state Absolutely. title home. Absolutely. The El Dorado Future Farmers of America, you see them uh, waving, uh, the El Dorado FFA. Hello, folks. Wait, I can't see any. They're camouflaged. Ah, oh, they're I camouflaged. Couldn't see them. I couldn't see you. I, I couldn't see you. That camouflage is effective, guys. That's right. That's Great right. Job. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I have to make the camouflage joke every time. Always. Just every like we single. rode, we rode past. I saw some hay, and I went, "Hey!" And everybody looked out the side of the car, and I was like, "There hey, we go." Hey, coming up next, look, it's the boys' club. Great future start there, and their bus is decorated like Rudolph. I love that. I like it too. Good uh, job. That guys. is a very bold red nose on the front of the bus. <laughs> that is a very bold, big uh, red uh, nose. Directed by David Lee and Scott Vines, uh, obviously bringing wonderful uh, after-school programs to the yes. kids of uh, Union County and all across. Uh, South Arkansas. Their as well. summer programs are hard to beat, and of course, if you play a sport as a young person in El Dorado, it is through the Boys and Girls Club. So we are very there thankful for all that they do. And there you go with the Girl Scouts uh, following up troops 2114 and 2115, led by Tracy Baker. And the float is sponsored by Potlatch and Titles, Mary and Bright. Uh, it, again, there's the Mary and Bright. There we go. The title, wonderful done, wonderfully Great done. Great job. Somebody and also, that. we should also uh, say this really quickly that, um, of course, all the floats are being judged tonight. Absolutely. Janice Zareb Zarebski is the 2021 Miss Arkansas Senior America. She looks beautiful. Absolutely. And a uh, beautiful crown as well. And enjoying the ride uh, down the avenue uh, here. And then coming up next. The Buckaroo Marching Band, uh, Smack Over. Love some Smack Over. That's where I live. Yep. We love Smack Over, and the Marching Buckaroo Band cannot be beat. They always put on a great show. I know this is kind of competition season for all of these bands, mm -hmm. so we wish them luck as they go to compete for um, honors. They have a band director. He is Mr. Tracy Walker, and he's got them ready to go. Look at their I nice festive flags. I love it, and the lights drapes as they uh, make their walk through. Listen to them for just a second. Let's go. Oh, look at the, the truck behind. Why you got to sing louder for us to all. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is, is sing, sing loud, loud for, for all, all to hear. hear. That's right. Yeah. I always appreciate a good elf reference. And there's the, the Buckaroo Band Truck. Check out how hey, well that, decorated that they is. They need an award for that. They spent some time on that. They did. That looks great. That is. That's impressive. I wonder how they did that. I don't know. You can't staple them on there. I don't know. Some good sticky tack. We'll ask them later. <laughs> the Car Malone Auto Group is up next, leading the group with our bright yellow shuttle van. And mm -hmm. right behind that is a brand new 2021 Ford Bronco that we talked about. Absolutely. I, I love that car, Jared. And, of course, they got it in the Christmas color red. Of course, and, uh, with the cute little passenger. Is that a red seat. or an orange? We're going to see no, no, the red. light. It's red. It's red. Okay. Followed by another 21. Oh, Ford Bronco coming up after, after the Camaro. Yeah, that Camaro's. That Camaro, I mean, 2021. If you're trying to get stopped by a cop, get a car yeah, that color. I was about to say, the uh, insurance <laughs> on that one. Ah, but it's pretty. It is absolutely well done. And we'll get to, um, and there's another Ford Bronco uh, Ford to Bronco. follow as well. Right. You can see the Smack Over band truck uh, right behind us as the uh, parade continues to make its way down. Uh, Hope Landing, this is one of my favorite floats. I'm not supposed Always. to have favorites, but uh, and, and a lot of them are my favorites, yeah. to be honest but with you. But they do such a great job every year. Yeah, Hope Landing is merry and bright because of I'm assuming his light, talking yeah. about Jesus, if I had to guess, but I can't read it. It says, do you hear what I hear? Do you see what I see? Do you know what I know? What a great job they've done. 
Mary and Bright, of course, because of the one true light. Christy Lowry and her staff at Hope Landing are changing lives and helping kids every day with disabilities. Um, they help these kids achieve their God-given potential. Love and they it. won Bust Overall Float for the last three years. I can see why. So. Now here's your favorite time. I love it. Here's Skittles. I love it. I'm it's so excited. Skittles' first Christmas. He's a mini Hereford cow owned by Amanda Morgan. I, I, I was so excited to see this cow. I can't he, even tell you. I, he I'm did so very excited. well at the fair this year, apparently winning reserve grand champion what a great in job. her class. Merry Christmas to Skittles. I wonder if she's got him trained to do anything. I mean, the cow, like, he's very Who well Who cares? Behaved. It's a cow. It's a mini cow. He's better behaved than awesome. some of my children. I'm First Arkansas Bail Bonds uh, coming up next. Director Michelle, Michelle Starr, the oldest and largest bail bond company in Arkansas. Hey, uh, that's good for when you end up on the naughty list. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Major David Robinson with the Salvation Army. You saw him a couple of days ago, uh, a couple of weeks ago, yep. serving Union, Washita, Calhoun counties. Next year, they'll be celebrating their 100th anniversary. Wow, unbelievable. And you can register to ring by going to registertoring.com. That's a good uh, remember, yep. uh, a good uh, reminder there. XL's up next. Camelia Critton is their director, and they have been serving children from six weeks old to five years old with special needs, preparing them for kindergarten for years now. The children go to school year round and get prepped for. Big kids. That school. is uh, awesome stuff. The Order of the Eastern Star, led by Arnisha Singleton. Uh, we got a couple of cars making their way through, and I was just yep. checking uh, some of these uh, um, floats as well. Uh, but yeah, making their way through. This is the Pride of 352 in El Dorado. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Merry Christmas. Hey, look at this cool little car. What is that? Explain that. To I me. have no idea I what want that one, is. Though. I but want one. It is the coolest thing in the world. Merry Christmas. Very cool, guys. Uh, it is a. Uh, it says Vanderhall. Vanderhall. No uh, idea, but I I'm like not, it. I'm not very. Oh, it's clear. a here. Oh, we 2021 got 2021 Vanderhall Carmel Blackjack, Blackjack, followed by a Honda Talon 1000 X4, another Honda Talon 1000 R Phantom Edition. A K and M Maverick and a Polaris Ranger. They've got all kinds of cool stuff going all on. All of that from Carl Malone Power Sports. Look at that K and M right there. That thing is it's that got a sound is, system in the back. That is for the ultimate Ooh, mud ride adventure. For that sure. is something else. And you can see, uh, I, th I believe this is one of the uh, the last. Uh, this is the other the last Polaris Ranger. Awesome. And you can see the uh, infl inflatables there behind it as well. Oh, now this is a great float. Victory Church in El Dorado. May your day be merry and bright. And they've got a little choo-choo train. I love it. I love it. And it's got the, the ringing bell. and the, uh, Oh, and the Auga. The Auga car. Oh, I love that coupe. This it's a is Ford awesome. 5, 1932. How awesome is that? 1932. That car has been around for 80 years. Almost 80 <laughs> years. Almost it's almost as old years. as I am. Oh, come on. Stop making those I just have to make jokes. old jokes. Shoot. Our numbers do not match up, so I think we're doing a good job yeah. trying to find who's what. Yeah, there's a couple of things that get, and, and if it's you've ever been a part of a parade, parade, you know that parades are going to get out of order. And, you know, they take, there are so many volunteers that help put this thing on for the El Dorado Chamber of Commerce. Thank you to each and every person that puts their time and heart into this, whether you're um, behind the camera tonight, whether you're Absolutely. lining up kids, uh, whether you're driving a 18 wheeler. Absolutely. We're thankful. And we appreciate our sponsors for making uh, this this entire uh, broadcast possible as Absolutely. well. Checking that out on myarchalmist.com. Here is um, J and A Towing, I think. Yep, J and A Towing, local towing service driven by John sure. Mitchell. Um, look the at the Mary and Bright. Christ, our days are Mary and Bright. What a great great message for it's this holiday beautiful, season. Beautiful, beautiful float. Great float. Wonderful. That took some work. Happy smiles. Absolutely. It's not easy to get a Christmas tree to balance on a moving float. No, it's not. And they decorated their generator, too. I love it. So that's smart stuff. Uh, on top of that, uh, I'm, I'm going through our lineup here. I and think this might be Miss Greater Little Rock's outstanding team, Caitlin Brazel. I think you're right. She's beautiful. And uh, hello, Caitlin. Merry Christmas. And I like her crown hood Absolutely. ornament, Absolutely. Matches the one on her head. That's great. We love to see all of our... Um, uh, pageant queens and beauty queens of South Arkansas. Just uh, it's, it's not a parade without some beauty queens. Right? Absolutely, and uh, glad that they're a part of. Hey, check this out. They have um, hey, decorated Derek, this float. Go ahead. Real quick correction. I think that that big float that was so gorgeous with the decorated generator was New Olive Branch Baptist Church. I think you're very and right. And their youth and leadership teams are led by Roy King and Gabby Farley, promoting help, hope, 
and healing for all of humanity. You just saw Gabe's Caves comics, cards, and collectibles. You're looking for those Marvel Legends figures Listen, we were talking about Listen, we are so earlier. excited. Spencer is so excited about that being an El Dorado. What a great addition to our community, our own comic shop. We're I, excited about Gabe's Cave. Telling you, you can't go wrong there. They've oh, got equipment the share is up next, right? Go for it, yes. Yeah, I think this is maybe Brandon Kocher promoting equipment service rental. Is that it? Yeah, I, go ahead. Uh, I, I believe that. I, th I believe you're right. Uh, and, uh, again, uh, also a reminder too that uh, this live stream will be re-airing on Saturday morning. So you, uh, if you if you're missing parts of it uh, tonight, maybe you're flipping over and checking out the Cowboys and the Saints or I something know. like that. Um, yeah, you can catch it again on Saturday morning. Again, of course, everything uh, today is sponsored by Billy Wood Honda, Neely Wholesale, and Sling and Arrow. That's right. We're thankful for all those guys. The Young Artist Studio is maybe what's next. Oh no, I bet this is still equipment share. I'm sorry. Yep, you're right. And a drop by. And then the inflatable puppy dog. I like the inflatable puppy dog. My wife's trying to get, my yeah, wife's no, trying to get me on the saying. inflatable thing. Uh, She's I trying know. to get me on the inflatable. It is easy yard art, though. You know, you got to like that. It's easy to set up, easy to take down. I agree. but Versus it's, Christmas lights. It's still, it's, it, you, you have to pay for the air. Or the, really? <laughs> just say You it. got enough hot air. You know. uh, hey! hey! There we You're go. not wrong. Merry Christmas. Uh, <laughs> moving on, I uh, believe this is uh, J&A right. Towing and Recovery here. I think you're here. right. Uh, again, bringing us uh, a wonderfully decorated tow truck that yep. could get you out of any jam, I think. And then I think next we have the side by sides, four of them. They're not driving side by side. Hey! <laughs> look at the Polaris, the These Can guys Am. Are organized by Joseph Ramey. Gosh, those things look good and can take some mud, I would imagine. I'm tires telling you. High. Now, it, you, it may, you may have to clean them because <laughs> those those things, those things are they look right so now. nice to not do. you don't want to get them dirty but Absolutely. you could get them dirty with no problem uh and then moving up next antigua's mexico uh, mexican grill uh i've actually been here twice it's really good delicious yes very uh, good highly recommend lily sanchez is organizing this and just want to say feliz navidad hey I love that song. I do too. Uh, and uh, Merry Christmas to them as well. They, they've got the, the task of carrying their sign the entire parade route. Hey, we got a, a radio flyer. No, I was looking at the wagon. Sorry, it's I'm looking at the T-Rex. It's, it's I, I, the T-Rex is always going to win. Look at the wonderful toys. I love them. Filling the, the radio flyer. That is a great float. The I Army Man. We got Raggedy Ann. Uh, I love it. That looks so great. The T-Rex is the winner for me. Uh, that, uh, this is very, very well done. V such creativity in today, tonight's float. And the toy car. How what? great is that? You guys are great. And look, we got a toy car. And, and again, so many awesome classic cars and new awesome. toys. The new Ford Bronco. We've got old cars. We've got classics. You know, Good and stuff. you get worried about how you're going to decorate an old car, but they did that right. That just looks amazing. And continuing to... to Oh, look, we're, we're singing Jingle I love Bells. It. Good job, guys. There we go. They're going to. I think that might be Janice Hicks's group. I, oh, no, that's the Young Artist Group. That's and the then, Young Artist uh, Group. And then after that, as uh, D&G Associates, uh, D &G Associates with their, uh, looks like they have Baby Jesus on the top of the car. I don't know. Uh, he's if, safe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's tied he's down. He's safe. Um, Old Union Fire Department's up next, directed by Ryan Johnson. Old Union is a volunteer fire department. They do a great job out there. Mm -hmm. And those. Look at the girl on top. She is feeling herself. Oh, hey, look baby at girl. Her. She is having a Merry grand old time. Christmas. Yep. Absolutely. Merry Christmas. Uh, again, Volunteer Fire Department, and we appreciate Wonderful their volunteer group. efforts as well. Oh, Slingshots Riding Group up next. These look like so much fun. I've always wanted to rent one when I go to the beach. How cool is that? And that thing has God. a system in it. I mean, we can, we've got headsets on, and we can hear. Yes. They're blaring through. And can that's you see? down there look oh wow with the light they look like batmobiles it's pretty cool it's pretty uh, cool. and again as we kind of hit a little bit of a gap here uh, yeah. in the parade round a reminder that uh, uh, while we're live streaming on myarchalmist.com a re-airing on um uh, nbc 10 saturday morning and of course uh tonight's parade coverage brought to you by billy wood honda neely wholesale and sling and arrows man that is some loud music absolutely they, but it's christmas music absolutely that's the most <laughs> important part Again, the lighting uh, on some of these vehicles are just unbelievable. Um, just listen that, to some of the Those systems are really loud. And the light, the, the lights going along with some of this stuff is just. Look at this one. How do you do this stuff? This is how you make sure you get heard and seen when we can't talk over you. I'm telling you, <laughs> uh, uh, this is this is overly impressive. And, and again. 
perfect night to have these open air vehicles making their way past us as well. It feels good outside. Usually we're freezing or burning up, but the weather's pretty perfect tonight. Again, special thanks to Rushing Law Form, Manpower, Maggie's and Lucy's, and the Big T's for putting up with us, taking over this entire parking lot today. Uh, we're thankful for them. Now we uh, are just seeing the uh, Live Share Blood Center uh, making their way past, and then uh, behind them is the Arkansas Razorback Airstream Club. Uh, we had a, a privilege of hanging out with the Airstreamers last year during COVID. We all had to be kind of separated yeah. and everything, but they had the Airstreams on the square last year. So cool. Uh, these are amazing. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a, that's a family community type thing. Airstreamers from across the country uh, really seem to, to kind of jive together. They do, and we have such a neat event in El Dorado where they come down on the square, mm -hmm. and you can actually go into the Airstreams and look. It's and fascinating. It's fascinating to see how much they've done inside those things. Legal Shield, uh, Janice Hicks is the local representative there. She uh, was right behind the uh, Airstreamers as they make their way through. I believe UCAPS is coming up next. Yes, that's correct. Yep, organizers Katie Hayes, of course, UCAPS is the Union County Animal Protection Society, and they provide all kinds of food, shelter, care to pets in our community. Um, please adopt, don't shop. Absolutely, and especially during this holiday season, go find you a, a furry friend, and they have some furry friends, not only the Grinch. the Grinch. You might could even actually adopt uh, a Grinchy. Uh, why you would want to adopt a Grinch, I'll just come to your house and eat all your food. <laughs> we can just take care of that that way. I believe this is uh, Sims Mortuary up next. Uh, Robert Henderson is the director there, uh, providing professional and personalized funeral services uh, to, to folks uh, in some of their uh, roughest times, and, uh, and again, the professionalism uh, is, goes a long way in that Absolutely. industry. Uh, Absolutely. So we appreciate uh, them being a part of tonight's parade. Again, a reminder that uh, you know that while we continue to, to be a part of this, it, you can catch uh, the, the rebroadcast on Saturday morning, but uh, it, it, there's really nothing like being here live. No, no. It's and just so much fun. So much jumping around and screaming over there That's and right. they're and having a grand time. And you never have to forget it. You can always put it on your calendar. It's always the first Thursday in December. So you'll never forget, wait, when it, when is El Dorado's Christmas Parade again? Right. Always. Always light the lights the Thursday before Thanksgiving. Always have the Christmas parade the first Thursday in December. I mark that calendar I mark the calendar pretty early. When yeah. I see that when Thanksgiving is, I just boom, I know I'm gonna be in El Dorado the Thursday before. Absolutely. And hopefully the Thursday after. Wildcat recycling, making their way through on a very nicely decorated golf cart. A couple of Four-wheelers, uh, ATVs that also look quite jacked up, if uh, the kids the kids say, do they still say that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know either. They'll, they'll call it something cooler than that. I'm yeah, they, 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 if, they, if they were calling it that, they're not calling it that anymore. Not now. That's right. Claire Herman is the Arkansas R. Little Miss Queen. She attends EHS and is a pre-AP honor roll freshman. One Heart Dojo, the best after-school and summer camps uh that they talk about uh, there and uh, teaching martial arts as a mean of child development. Director Brian Dixon is uh, the director there. And you got some purple belts, blue belts, yellow belts. Did they you ever take any kind of martial arts? Made it to yellow belt. Uh, did, it, did it one time uh, just in kind of an off season of baseball. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. it. It teaches a lot of discipline and structure. It teaches such self discipline, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, Tyree's Detail Shop is up next and big red hauling. Owner Tyrone Wade keeps vehicles safe and clean and non-running vehicles off the streets, so we're appreciative of that. And you also just saw Alan Saunders driving his fully restored 1963 Volkswagen Beetle with the uh, Christmas tree on top. I He's love definitely that. feeling the festive That's spirit. That's great. Reminds and me a little of Oswald's. Right? And then I believe this is Sign Gypsies right here behind it. Karen yeah. Webb, the director, spreading joy uh, with lawn signs across South Arkansas. And you can see some of those uh, signs on display there. Uh, Always a fun thing to wake up and have, have the sign. kids have a sign in their yard for their birthday or a special event. Hogwild Motorsports is up next. Robert Coleman is the owner of that. They have sales and service for golf carts, side-by-sides, four-wheelers, motorcycles, and accessories. They have them all decked out. I love when people go all out with their decorations. I love it. Don't just ride in the parade. They've, got, they've got the tinsel wrapped around the golf cart posts. That guy's got a Christmas suit on. I've you got, got one of those. Oh, I love that. I wearing that on the news. Wore it. Why did you not wear it? To be honest with you, um, I don't think it fits anymore. Oh. I've, uh, my weight fluctuates pretty pretty bad, but we can talk about that later. <laughs> the mayor, of course, Miss Veronica Smith Creer, joining us. Of course, we could have had two uh, could have had two mayors at once if Ma if Mike could have made it. Mike would have made it. That's right. We're mayor gonna Sunshine we're gonna continue to rib you about Mike. that, Mike. But, Absolutely. Uh, we we hope you're having a wonderful holiday. The Clean Harbors Fire and Rescue Team is up next. Christy Gutter organized this float. This emergency medical responders and Gold Seal certified rescue team 
for the El Dorado Look facility at that is top notch. They did a great job. I am so excited to see them Absolutely. participate. Beautiful. Again, I'm just baffled by the effort and the time that is put into so much of this. It really is such a, a, a wonderful part of the holiday season to see how much time and effort is put in to making this such an enjoyable part Absolutely. of uh, your holiday season. The 1959 Apache Chevy pickup that you just saw is uh, from Destiny Hildreth. Uh, wonderfully, uh, wow. beautifully decorated. And uh, following behind that will be a 2001 Freightliner uh, that you see there. That's actually the Peterbilt. Yep. And then I believe there's a Freightliner behind that. Yeah. So, so that's the 2009 yeah, Peterbilt. That's the 2009 Peterbilt. I, I know that because it says Peterbilt, Peterbilt. on yep. the front. That's how I figured it out, too. We I'm, are so I'm bright. telling you, I'm observant. I'm Mary, you're bright. Is that, <laughs> is that how it works? Uh, uh, if I'm the bright, then we're in all kinds of. <laughs> look at the googly eyes on the on the. Uh, and the big liner. red nose. Look at the red nose. Love it. Wonderful. Well, decorated Wonderful. that as Rudolph. With very the, good job. This is the Kristen Motorcycle Association. What an incredible group coming up next. Yep. Uh, as uh, you can lost to Jesus and hey, looking cool doing it. I'm just saying. I'm telling you, uh, the Christian and motorcycle, yeah. so Christian Motorcyclists Association. I'm sad Chang that they don't have their motorcycles out because those suckers are cool, and and they have the whole, they have their cuts with their patches, and uh, these guys are great, great, great. Tony Snow driving that truck. Uh, good to see you. Great group of people leading the loss to Christ and changing the world one heart at a time. It's a wonderful organization. Behind them, uh, you see, I uh, believe uh, the. Is this uh, Lativia I think Hall? This is, is, I think that's still is, the These are the yep. motorcycles. Yep. Uh, well, they got one motorcycle. So they got one. I, they're probably really loud, so uh. that was smart to do it that way. Tommy Land is up next. Lake yes, Commissioner. there we go. And we appreciate uh, Tommy being a part of uh, today's El Dorado Christmas Parade. He's got the name for it, right? Land Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, goodness. I didn't even make that connection. Thank you so much for picking you're up welcome. on that. Maybe I'm bright. You're married. Hey, we're just going to switch back okay, and forth. That's fine. Uh, works whatever works for me. <laughs> Northwest Baptist Church, Marion Bright. Clearly, Marion Bright is our theme this year. If you haven't figured that out, I think we just figured it out. I love it. And these kids certainly play the part well. Bright, Wonderful smiling job. faces. Everybody's just so happy to I be know. a part of this uh, the holiday season. That, We've uh, missed it. You organized know? by uh, Van and Renee Clark, uh, just reminding us that Jesus is the reason for the season. Uh, you see um, uh, royalty. Uh, this is uh, Sincere Dawson. Uh, Little, Little Miss, Miss Music, Music Fest, Fest uh, Royalty uh -huh. Dawson, uh, 2021. And and Eldorado First Assembly is up next, re reminding us the reason for the season with some wise men. And they look course, very course. wise. They look very wise. Extremely wise. Merry Christmas, folks. Uh, and again, uh, Ike's, is, it, is Ike's Goat Ride coming up next? I'm, I'm, All right. I haven't seen it yet, but okay, I don't think so because they're scooters. We're gonna keep her, uh, this is Lativia Hall driving her okay. white Dodge Journey, right? Yes, that's right. With pink stripes. Oh, I see the pink stripes. That's cool. She's added some Christmas spirit and a big I bow. I like it. Got a little light glow on the bottom, a little Christmas light glow. And next this, up. this would be the uh, DHS, yeah. the uh, Union County Department of Human Services. Uh, Rhonda Alfin is the uh, director, enhancing the health and well-being of all Arkansans by protecting the vulnerable, fostering independence, and promoting better health. Wonderful, Wonderful job. I like, it's very festive, a very holiday-ish Christmas feel uh, to that float as well. Again, a reminder that all these floats are being judged. Uh, we've got our judges sequestered inside. It's not like a very serious sequestering, <laughs> but they're in there. They can hear us saying that they're sequestered. Right, right. Uh, we'll let you free at the end, we promise. These big floats take a lot of work and and. We're thankful for all the people who put the time in to make those big floats. Here's Everly Ware. She is Baby Miss Music Fest and Baby Miss Calhoun County. And she is uh, up there on the top. She's tiny. And having quite the holiday season. And they're, Absolutely. They're dragging some Christmas lights. I don't know if that's by design or not. I think that's probably I'm pretty sure it's by accident. Yeah. But it's okay. That's okay. It's okay. Hey, these floats have been traveling for a, a while now. That's and right. they've still got a ways to go. Now, is this Resolute El Dorado? I believe so. Wonderful. They employ more than 150 people in our community. We are thankful for that big, big float. Lots of fun families represented. Again, the time, the effort, the love that's put mm -hmm. into this, and the love of the season that's put into these floats, it's just very special. We missed it last year. I mean, it was, it was here it last year. It just wasn't the, it, it's it's Not the just, same. It, it wasn't the same. And it's so glad to be back kind of 
a little bit of sense of normal. And it's too. such a tradition. You know, it, Christmas, holiday season, you have certain things that you do. And it's time oh, for a blizzard. I have to I have to hold Jared back or he'll be jumping in that one and going, huh? <laughs> do you guys have any blizzards? Come on. <laughs> what a cool Maybe car. We could have guaranteed them a win, Jared. They had no blizzards. But they didn't bring the goods, so. Ice cream would have melted. Josie Claire Mann is up next. She is petite Ms. Calhoun County. And She's in the fourth grade. Absolutely. Uh, and we appreciate her being a part of uh, uh, today's parade. I believe I'm reading signs as they pass. And yep. uh, I believe this is uh, Greater, Greater Powerhouse. Powerhouse Youth. Yeah. Yep. Led by Bishop Polly Jones. And they are singing Merry Christmas to everyone and have big smiling faces. I see I see one missing her two front teeth. Precious. I, I wonder if she wants that for Christmas. I, I would still want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I definitely want And only a hippopotamus, a hippopotamus will do. Uh, again, Greater Powerhouse uh, Ministries Alliance uh, wishing us a Merry Christmas as they pass by. And the Grinch is back. The Grinch is back. Grinch has been popular this year. JPS Rental Equipment, organized by Jeremy Smith, they provide valuable service and the rental needs of our customers by gaining their trust with exceptional performance. And I mean, the Grinch and Rudolph are pulling a, is that a skidster? Is that a? Uh, an excavator? Sure. Uh, something, All the things. Something that digs and moves a lot of earth. And you can get it at JPS. So if, that's and you, you can rent to. it. That's right. I'm That's assuming because right. JPS Reynolds. Kiwanis of El Dorado coming up next. Hashtag kids need Kiwanis. Kiwanis International uh, is organized by Victoria Young, and they have a global organization. This is just their local chapter, but, of course, if you know Kiwanis, you know that they are a global organization of volunteers dedicated to improving the world one child at a time and one community at a time. So we're thankful for all that Qantas does in our community. We have to also, again, thank for the El Dorado Chamber of Commerce. Without them, this mm -hmm. parade wouldn't be possible. It is the El Dorado Chamber of Commerce, El Dorado Christmas Parade. And there are so many man hours. I used to work at the chamber. I yep. uh, went there after, left the TV station. And let me tell you, lots and lots of men, men and women help with this. Lots and lots of manpower. Who's the president and CEO of that place now? now? Of uh, El Dorado Chamber of Commerce. Yes. Yeah. Mike was there. Uh, Mike was for, there. Uh, for a minute. Don uh, Wales was there. Yeah. There's been, I, I don't know. Isn't that awful that I don't know? No, Sorry. well, I, I'll put you on the spot right it's in okay. the middle of it's the broadcast. the one thing I don't know, I'm sure. Uh, we had uh, a little bit of a, um, a float hiccup, um, right? And we're, to be honest, we were kind of toward the end of the parade yeah. lineup. So, But we haven't seen the Jolly Man yet. If you don't know who that is, his name is Santa Claus. Um, and we are still waiting his arrival. It's not yep. It's not Christmas until he arrives now. But we have lots of people we can thank. Again, Absolutely. Um, this whole event sponsored by the Chamber, but also mm -hmm. sponsored by Billywood Honda. Thank you for them. Mm -hmm. Slinging Arrows and Neely Wholesale. They are the sponsor of this live broadcast, and without them, you wouldn't see us. So. Absolutely. And, uh, again, you're streaming live on MyArkLimits.com. Catch a replay on uh, NBC10, I believe, Saturday morning. Uh, we'll have that time for you a little bit later on. Yep. Also, again, we've uh, already thanked them, but we'll thank them again. Uh, you know, Manpower Rushing law firm, uh, law firm Maggie and Lucy's, which is still open, and, uh, and, uh, and the big T's, we basically just commandeered their entire parking lot yeah. the entire day. Yeah. Uh, Neely Wholesale hooked us up with uh, the coffee. Uh, Old Town Store, uh, uh, the Old Town Store with uh, the soup bar. I went chicken noodle. Uh, cornbread was phenom phenomenal. Uh, Highly recommend cookie. the pecan sandies. There uh, he is. Looky here. There he is. It's Santa. The there guy. he is. Merry Christmas. I can explain everything. I'm really sorry. <laughs> we swear. We didn't have Give anything to do Give me till the 23rd to front. get on the nice list, please. I'm really sorry about I half the year. I did have a kid ask me earlier this week if he thought he was on the nice list. Santa, we need to talk. Dot, dot, dot. Down. To yep. be continued. Absolutely. Uh, but Santa's here, and we're not done yet. Um, we do have some uh, some other folks behind Santa, including always, all always our horses. the horses. Yep. After Santa, we'll let you figure out why. But <laughs> do not leave. Do not turn off the power to your computer or the live broadcast. Yeah, you're not done yet. Because we are not done, and these horses are always worth waiting for. There are so many that that ride, and and some of them decorate their horses. Uh, I rode horses as a child, and I don't know how well my horse would have taken having flashing lights. I'm yeah. always impressed with these animals. And and, and I'm going to be a, I'm going to be honest with you here. I'm not a huge horse guy. I think they're beautiful, majestic animals. Yep. But I also know that like I'm a person that doesn't pay attention a lot. Uh -huh. And if I wander behind a horse and get kicked one time, 
Nope. It's not. Wouldn't be good. Wouldn't be a good. Wouldn't be, we had Heinz 57 horses growing up, which are, which are mutts, you know. And, Is that uh, where you get the steak sauce from? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> um, when you call the TV station, ask for Jared Floyd to make comments about that. Thank you. I don't even use that. steak sauce. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's just ketchup. These are beautiful horses. <laughs> no ketchup. Gross. Uh, Glenn Walter Stables, the first uh, round of uh, folks. And you can see the Maverick Cowboy Church with their flag as well. And these are, again, just beautiful Wonderful. horses. And so disciplined and just having a grand old time. Absolutely. Marching down the street. Calvary Trail, Trail Cowboy Church is also in that group. Mm -hmm. And we are thankful for everybody that and participated. I, I actually, I believe group. Calvary Trail is, are they they're coming still back up? There? I oh, think I think they are coming because live. they have a wonderful carriage that they're bringing up. Oh, that's a, a wonderful way to win, to end the parade. You know, I have to say, everybody who participates in this parade, I think they have to start lining up, Jared, at like 4 in the afternoon. Wow. So it's a long day for them. They have to decorate their cars take the time out of work to do that as well. So we're very and grateful for everybody that was in the parade. And let's be honest, too. Like, you're not going to drive around town with your car decorated for four or five days. So this is a day of right. or day before right. type thing. Uh, now, of course, the floats have been in, in progress for days and weeks, right. to be honest with you, maybe even longer than that. Uh, but but for a lot of these folks, they're they're having to you know take a day off work to to they bring are. this special holiday cheer to South Arkansas. Yeah, and we're so glad that they did. Again, glad that you tuned in. Glad for all of these people that came out and saw it live and in person. And I have to say, from El Dorado community to you guys, thank you for coming. Oh, we have a blast. Like I said, I love I love South Arkansas. Anytime yeah. I can make my way up here, uh, you know, I was here a couple weeks ago. Uh, we'll you'll you'll be seeing us a lot more uh, in the next couple of years, and and really just this is home. This is this is the Arklamas, and Absolutely. and we uh, we really enjoy, like I said, just being a part of. Um, uh, a, bringing this to you and, absolutely and as uh cindy just mentioned there's cowboy uh excuse me calvary trail cowboy church and uh, these they, guys do it right you uh, see they i mean look the at comforts the comforts of home in that trailer but also they're lit three well five seven nine eleven what 13 a 15 yep. 17 19 21 23, 24. This is how I count my golf scorecard. <laughs> 25. I think I count 25. With the mulligan, horses. there's a maybe 22. Yeah, with, with the with the penalty yeah. drop uh -huh. into the water. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm counting like 25. Nope. Hang on. 26, More. 27, 28, 29. Maybe upwards of 30 horses. What a just great with that group. group! Thank you so much, Calvary, for coming out. Thanks to our law enforcement officers, who again are going to round out the parade. They started mm -hmm. it; they'll end it. And we're grateful for everything they do in our community and in your community too. Thanks to KTV and Fox, of course, for having us and, and being a part of this. Thanks to all the guys behind the scenes. Yeah, they we we've uh, we had a long car ride up, uh, just cutting up and having a grand old time, and and. Um, you know the, the the guys behind the scenes are, are just as enjoyable and and, and fun and and we, I, I love being around them and, yeah. and they love being a part of this they really truly enjoy bringing these types of things to, to the viewers of yeah. South Arkansas and the Arklamas. they just don't get enough credit you know without them we are <laughs> they said we love you too what about me hey. do you love me Okay, thanks, Cody. They, they like you more <laughs> than me. <laughs> hey, we are grateful for them, though. They don't get enough credit. And without them, we're just monkeys in suits. Absolutely. Well, we're still monkeys in suits, but, you know, they make us look good and sound good. So uh, I, I believe this is um, uh, PJ's Coffee. Rounding uh, it The out. holiday train kind of rounding out the, uh, in fact, <laughs> the traffic's ready to resume right behind it. Right uh, behind but it. Thankfully, we got the El Dorado's uh, finest, the El Dorado Police Department. And there uh, and are our are Grand Marshals. So we're going to round it out. Absolutely. So. And so uh, there are a look at our Grand Marshals. Yeah, one. Kaya uh, Poppinger, Derek Morales, Abigail Berdu, Dax Preston, Madison Ellison, Jeremiah Briggs, uh, Camden, Camden Jones and Camden Levi. Jacobs and uh, oh, and uh, Levi, Levi Haynes, Haynes yeah. are our Grand Marshals. They won uh, those uh, through an essay contest with their yes. respective schools from Washington Middle, Smackover, Norfolk, Strong, Huddig, and uh, Parker's Chapel, respectively, for all of those uh, kiddos. But congratulations to them. That's hard work. So good and job, absolutely. guys. They've done a wonderful job. Uh, again, thank you so much to the El Dorado Chamber of Commerce uh, uh, for, for making this possible. They, they do a wonderful job every year. Thank you so much to our judges who yep. are, again, sequestered. Um, uh, back over and there. shall remain nameless. Yeah, we will not reveal their names. Uh, and again, you can catch this uh, live stream, uh, again, uh, obviously a recorded version, uh, on Saturday morning on NBC10. Thank you so much to um, our sponsors, Billy Wood Honda, Neely Wholesale, and Sling and Arrows. And 
and uh, all the folks that just made this possible. It was Absolutely. a fun night. It was a wonderful night. We hope you have a wonderful holiday season and Merry Christmas. All right, for everybody here, uh, Cindy, thank you so much. Absolutely. Can we, I'm not going to lock you in and make you say and say commit to next year. We'll see. Yeah. We'll, yeah. Defi we'll see you along the parade route at some point next year. But for Cindy, I'm Jared Floyd. Have a wonderful holiday season, and uh, have a great night. Merry Christmas.